want to know my ovarian cancer story and what led me to go to the hospital in the first place? Well, by the end of this video, you know exactly my story of what made me go to the hospital. For ovarian cancer awareness, cancer support, and just everything cancer in general, definitely subscribe to this channel, hit that bell so you get notified every Sunday when I upload a new video. I have shared this story with other cancer warriors that are going through the fight and then also other cancer survivors and it's helped them out tremendously. Okay, let's jump right into it. What led me to go to the hospital? What led me to even get checked out, right? And so I remember I was working at a daycare at the time. Um, just moved in with my sister at the time and I was working at a daycare. And I was just, you know, I wasn't that happy about that job. <laughs> But, um, I just remember feeling tired. Um, I was working there and anyone, um, if you have any childcare professionals, anyone that works with children, right? Sometimes you're like, well, maybe it's just the children that's making me so tired, but I was just so tired. Um, I was just super fatigued. I remember going to work and right after work. A drive home and some nights I didn't even really care um, if I would eaten anything for dinner some nights I would skip dinner and just go straight to bed um, that's how tired I was but it also kind of felt like I had a cold um, it felt like a cold like I did not feel good but it was like it was like a long long cold like that you basically couldn't get over um, I had the sniffles a lot it just really felt like a common cold. Some days I didn't, um, I wasn't even hungry. Some days I was more sleepy than hungry. Um, but all I remember that just sticks out to me is how tired I was. Now I had gained weight. When I mean gain weight, I had gained weight, but it was in one area that really stuck out to me. It was really in my stomach. Um, Oh my gracious, it was really in my stomach. Comment below and share with me what led you to go to the doctor? What led you to go to the hospital or maybe your o, um, your OBGYN? I would love to hear that in the comments. When I mean my stomach was getting big, you guys, my stomach was getting big. Um, it almost looked like I had been pregnant. Um, I remember going back, I remember going home that day and I talked to my sister and I showed her because I was like this is just I've never seen nothing like this you know what I mean and at the time I was on contraceptives um birth control right and so I was like well maybe um you know birth control they do say um you can gain weight from so I'm like well maybe maybe that's what it is and so I talked to her and she said no 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 your stomach is so big she was like that can't like something something has to be wrong and so I was like well I don't know I don't you know I don't really know what's going on and so she said well this is what we're gonna do first you need to take a pregnancy test and I said okay but I know for a fact <laughs> that I wasn't pregnant but I'm like yeah okay and so um, she said well let's take that tonight but in the morning we have to go to the hospital we have to take you to the hospital so I said okay well, I said, you know, I can't take off work. You know, I, I just, I literally just started this job, you guys. I've probably been working there now for a, I want to say a month maybe. Um, and so I was like, oh, I don't have time to take off. Will they allow me to take off? And then I called my boss that morning and I was like, hey, you know, um, I can't come in. Sorry. Um, something's going on. I need to go to the hospital and figure out what's, you know, what's going on with me and so she was like okay that's fine um you know take the day off get that squared away and so we took that pregnancy test at night um negative of course um I was not pregnant but we went to the hospital and um just thank god for thank god for my sister because I I probably wouldn't even went to the hospital you guys just to be that honest um, I was concerned about it, but you know how sometimes you're concerned about something 
but you don't want to hear the facts about it or you don't want it to be bad news. So you push it away and, and um, suppress it so you don't have to deal with it. And so I went to the doctor, got in the doctor's office and they were like, okay, well, we need to run tests, right? We need to run tests and see if you are pregnant because if your stomach is protruding out um, as big as it is, then the first thing that we would kind of think of um, is that you're pregnant and he said you know when you touch your stomach it's hard so my stomach was hard to the touch hard as a rock and so I went to um, they took the test got the test done came back negative which I was like you guys I'm telling you I'm not and so but you know they have to do their they have to make sure and so they tested it came back negative wasn't pregnant and so he was like okay well this is out of my expertise so let me go ahead and refer you to an old, um, a OBGYN um, that this is what he specialized in and go ahead and get you checked out so you guys can set an appointment as soon as possible. And so he was like, well, what I will tell you is that if you ever, just in case you ever go through this again, he said, if you ever, your stomach is protruding out like this and your stomach is hard as a rock, if you're not pregnant, that's not normal, right? He said your stomach shouldn't be, you know what I mean, protruding out or hard as a rock like that unless you're going through, you know, pregnancy or anything like that. And so I was like, okay, thank you for letting me know. So I called when we got home, scheduled the appointment with the o, um, with my OBYGN, scheduled that with them, and um, they hurry up and set a quick appointment. So it was just literally... <laughs> It was, it was a, a shocking experience, just how you can just kind of get away from life and not pay attention to your health and not pay attention to what's happening to your body. Being aware of what's happening to your body and being in tune with your body is how you really can catch stuff when things aren't right. So that is how, um, that is what really led me to go to the hospital you guys just having my stomach look like I was literally um, a couple months pregnant and just big and out there and hard as a rock so that's literally what led me to go to the hospital um, I created this guide eight must-haves um, that you need when you when you're diagnosed with cancer I created that guide so I'll put that link to get that guide in the description box so definitely check that out but if you want to join a community of like-minded women just like you um, that are going through the same struggle and you want to um, share your experiences we share experiences in there and then you get tips from me as well definitely join that Facebook group I'll put that link in the description as well if you like this video definitely hit that like button share this video you guys um, you never know who it can help um, share it to your family and friends 